All right, good morning from freezing rain, New York. Today I want to talk about motivation versus discipline. Seems especially poignant out in the freezing rain here. We're going to get into the cold plunge and then do a little bit of talking, see how long we last in this rain. Let's go. Time for some cold wisdom. Yikes. Hands. Ugh, man. Ugh. Still got a dunk. Woo. Man. All right. Let's talk about motivation versus discipline. We're out here. It's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is. One or two degrees Celsius. Freezing rain. It's early morning, it's a Sunday. I would estimate that about 10% of days, I feel really motivated to come out and do this. 10%. 10% of days, I really don't wanna do it. It's terrible, I feel awful. The other 80% in between is that middle ground. It's that you feel okay, you don't feel terrible, you don't feel great. That is where discipline has to kick in in your life. It's that 80%. That same rule, that 80% rule applies to everybody. 80% of days, you're not gonna feel amazing, you're not gonna feel awful or sick, you're just gonna feel okay, and you need discipline to take over. Discipline is the ultimate act of service towards your future self. I'll say that again. Discipline is the ultimate act of service towards your future self. We talk about the five love languages. Acts of service is one of those five love languages. It happens to be my love language, actually. And when I think about that, I am doing an act of service to my future self. I am paying the dues, paying the rent on the day when it's hard, when I don't feel great, when I'm not feeling optimal, when I haven't slept perfect, when it's cold, when it's pouring rain like it is right now. I'm doing the ultimate act of service to my future self. If you only act on the days when you feel motivated, you are never going to get anywhere. When in doubt, you just have to start moving. You have to create that motion. You have to be able to place your future self and the love that you have for your future self in front of how you feel on a daily basis. You have to love that future self in the same way that you would love a real, live individual in the present day today. When you do that, you realize that you can treat that future self with the utmost respect by taking action today. And that action can be doing something hard, like jumping into a cold plunge. That action can be working on something difficult that you've been dreading. That action can be the workout or the bland meal. That action can be taking the difficult conversation into your hands so that you stop prolonging it, so that you stop putting it off until something else happens. The whole point with all of this is that discipline needs to be in your life. It needs to be a key part of how you operate. And again, I'll say it. Discipline is the ultimate act of service to your future self. Treat it as such, and you will always go far in whatever domain. All right, I'm going to get out of the rain, out of the cold. Short one today, but an important message. And as always, until next time, let's get cold.